and I'm Sarah. When we first got the wheelchair and started using it, we weren't given any training and unfortunately we learnt the hard way. So we've decided to create a video for first time users of wheelchairs, what works and doesn't work. Before setting off, ensure you have adequate clothing. Ensure the person is comfortable in their chair with their lower back right against the back of the seat. Check the pressure cushion is in place and the right way up if you have one, especially for long journeys. If someone is sat in a wheelchair for long periods of time, they are more likely to get cold much quicker. And the lap belt is in place and done up. You should allow room for only a couple of fingers. Check the feet are correctly placed on the foot pedals. And when pushing, ensure you have sensible shoes. If you have a mobile, it may be a good idea to take it just in case an emergency. It is also wise to take any medication with you, just in case. Before you start to move, make sure the hands are resting safely on the lap and not hanging down so that they may get caught in the wheels. Here's a tip when pushing a chair over the gravel. Wheel the chair backwards, allowing the bigger wheels to run smoothly over the stones. Try to plan your journey, especially if you are considering public transport. Will there be stairs or wheelchair access at the end? Will there be a disabled toilet if needed? Also, know your limits. Don't plan a long journey unless you have enough stamina to push them back to. Remember to pace yourself and leave plenty of time for your journey and take a break if needed along the way. All wheelchairs have brakes installed on the wheels. Ensure these are applied when you are stationary, especially when travelling on a bus or in a taxi. As Neil is heavier than myself, I ensured the wheelchair we ordered came with handle brakes. These give me extra control when slowing the wheelchair down and up slopes. When crossing a road, look for the nearest dropped kerb. Some dropped curbs are smoother than others, so always slow when pushing the wheelchair over these. If there aren't any dropped curbs when needed, and you are sure you have the strength, then you can perform a kick tilt. Try to avoid going down the kerb forwards as this would throw a person out of the wheelchair. Instead, reverse the chair slowly over the kerb and down, using the handle brakes to slow the descent. You can apply a foot to the back stabilizers to slow the front of the chair down as it lowers. If you need to bring the wheelchair up a kerb and you have the strength to do it, Ensure the stabilisers are turned upwards to allow the chair to tilt further back. Once the front of the chair is resting on the pavement, lift the back of the chair up and push forwards. Once safely on the pavement, ensure you turn the stabilisers back into their normal position. When 
outside, be aware of bumps and potholes. Also be aware of other people on the pavement. Be aware some drop curbs can be more awkward. If this is the case, reverse the wheelchair, allowing for the larger back wheels to manoeuvre more easily over the curb. When encountering a slope, be aware of your weight difference as this will affect how easy it will be to cope with the gradient. If the slope appears too steep, look for another option. Also be aware of your strength limitations and ensure the lap belt is secured. If using a ramp, make sure it is stable and will bear the overall weight. Be aware of the sides of the ramp, ensuring the wheels do not come off tipping the chair up. We hope you found this video helpful. The information has come from our own personal insight whilst using the wheelchair. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.